Good afternoon. What I'd like to talk to you today is something that I just covered with a group um, earlier this morning and I thought it'd be really useful to share with some um, people on Facebook. So you've probably seen in some of the videos before that I often think that at the top we have some unhelpful beliefs about ourselves, others and the future. And these beliefs can be very unhelpful and what they can do is very, very quickly create a very uncomfortable feeling. Now, in the previous videos, you would have seen that I've always done this as a spike because spikes are very difficult, they're very painful to hold on to, but also because the spikes reach out into all other areas of your life. So these spikes might reach into our job, our relationships, our sleep, our diet, our self-confidence, our use of drugs. So I imagine that spike not just to be something static, but maybe like a pulsating spike that always goes out. Now, if you've looked at the previous videos, I'll just grab another pen. If you've looked at previous videos, I always talk how what we can't do is we can't wrap that spike up in bubble wrap because the spikes will always come through. I've also talked about how we can't try and block that spike out by creating maybe what you might call positive emotions because that leaves you in fear of the spike. Really what we need to be able to do is get that uncomfortable feeling and identify what our thoughts are and maybe accept those thoughts challenge those thoughts or let them go. We need to be able to identify our emotions, be able to express them, be able to regulate them and be able to tolerate them. With our body sensations, we need to be able to calm our internal sensations, calm our body when we feel agitated or if we feel numb and empty, to raise it up by exercise and actions and really, this is one of the most important areas. These things, our beliefs, the uncomfortable feeling we have, our thoughts, our emotions, our body sensations, they're all within us, they're all inside of us. It is our actions that moves from the internal to the external. So it's those actions which are really important. And of course, what we want to do is we want to have wise actions. Actions based on logic and emotion, actions which are going to be helpful for the future. So that is the downward spiral that often many people find themselves in. But a big part of that is also remembering our resource capital. Now our resource capital is the strengths, abilities and talents that we have as human beings. And we can think of these as our biological resources. So some of us are naturally very flexible, very um, dexterous, have very good eye-hand coordination, so might be very good at sports. But also some of that resource capital, those abilities can be taught. And the most important ones I always think of are what I call the solid back four of sleep, diet, routine and exercise. All of us, if we're not eating properly, if we're not sleeping properly, if we don't have adequate diet and exercise, our well-being, our happiness and our success will flounder. We then have our psychological resource capital. That might be being aware, being insightful, being open-minded, being creative, able to challenge thoughts, look for alternatives to be able to let thoughts go. We then have our social resource capital, our connection to other people, our sense of belonging to our local community, about being um, compassionate towards others, empathic, sympathetic and kind. And then of course, we have our spiritual, our sense of meaning, our sense of purpose, our ability to look out and away from the I and the me and look at the bigger picture, to be able to look at the environment, to look at others, to look at things and have a, an understanding of where we fit in the big picture. Now, when we can tap into our resource capital, we can break the unhelpful cycle, and one of the most effective skills 
is to be mindfully aware, reflective, and insightful. So one of the most important things we can do is to be mindfully aware of what we're thinking, what we're feeling, what our body is doing, and our actions, to reflect on them, to think if they're helpful or unhelpful, or if they're wise or unwise, to have insight into them, as into what has caused them, and what might the consequence of them be, and then to make sure that we take wise action. So that breaks the downward spiral. But of course, all of these separate parts, our beliefs, our relationships, our employment, our use of drugs, alcohol, our self-confidence, our diet, our sleep, all of those things are parts of the bigger picture. Now often, it's this one that I've done mainly in red that we think about. But when we can step back and look at the bigger picture, what we become aware of is our resource capital, our psychological, social, spiritual and biological resource capital, the skills we have, the talents we have, the abilities we have, and what we can do is when we utilize them, we can start not only to break the positive, sorry, break the downward spiral, but create more positive, helpful things in our lives. And I think that's one of the really important things that I'd like to, to leave as a takeaway message is, you know, we are so much more than our individual parts. We are so much more than any one experience that we have had. We are a collection of a range of things. Some of those are pleasant, some of those are unpleasant. But when we have awareness of that, and we have insight into that, and we can reflect upon that, we can always act in a wise way. And one of the things I want to talk about just to end is about this idea of success. Success doesn't mean being wealthy, having the best car, the nicest pair of trousers. Success doesn't mean those materialistic things. Those things are part of success, but success really means doing the best you can, being your best possible self. The outcome of that isn't really that important because in your heart and in your mind, you will know that you have done the best that you can do and that you have tried. And I think as human beings, that's all we can do. When we try to be our best possible self, when we try to act with wisdom, compassion, kindness to ourselves and others, inevitably, we often are successful. And that success is a byproduct of being able to manage this, breaking the downward spiral, increasing the positive, pleasant, upward spiral, and accepting that these unpleasant parts are part of who I am, these pleasant parts are part of who I am, but I am a whole person. And when we can do that, we don't need to bubble wrap this spiky feeling because we can get it to become smaller and much more manageable. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that's been useful and helpful for you. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.